Okay guys, I am back and we are going to get ready and finish up this pretty little journal. Um, what I did since last time when I was waiting for the video to upload is I just went ahead and put our winter magic here on the front, put on the closure, and then just put a couple of things in these front and back pockets here. And then I kind of lined out where I thought I might want the pockets. Um, so yeah, let's just get gluing and then we'll start filling pockets and I need to make more ephemera, then I will pause the video and make us some more ephemera and then load it in there. And then we'll do the final flip through. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. The time you see this, I believe it will be Wednesday, which is the 30th, I believe. Um, so yeah, I don't, I have no idea what we're up to in like the future us. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> super, super, super excited about this journal. Um, I love it. It's beautiful colors. Um, I don't, I've discovered though that I don't use blue often enough. So I'm kind of committed right now to start using more blue. And I think I even said that when we were doing that um, challenge of Amy over at Crafty Cat. Oh, I probably better be careful with that. Because um, I think when we did the challenge, when I did blue, I think I said the same exact thing, is that I don't use it often enough, but it's such a beautiful color. Yeah, so... Yeah, um, we don't, as of right now, I think Paul might have New Year's Day off, but he does not have New Year's Eve off, which basically means is that he'll be home somewhere between four and eight. <laughs> um, I don't know how many of you guys um, know, probably not very many. Um, I'm turning these into a tuck so then all you'll have to do because I'm just going to glue right here and right here so then the owner would just um, pull that and then it would flip down which I'll go through when we um, do the flip through um, I decided to do that and then I'll put the uh, cute little ephemera pieces in there the um jars that's where those little guys are gonna go <clears throat> so here and here So yeah, um, and I'm going to have to do a little bit of repair, I think, here. Like, I like this, but I, I would assume that nobody else is going to like that. Um, or maybe I'll just put the pocket up a little higher, and that'll stabilize it. That happens sometimes when you're dying, and it actually happens more often than not for me when I'm writ dying. Um, just little snags. Um but I like it because, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but when you have rips and stuff like that in your paper with the writ dye, it actually ends up dyeing the rip, and it just, I think it looks cool. So yeah, I wasn't planning anything tall in this one anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the pocket there, and then it stabilizes it a little bit more. Okay this side put this pocket in now, I'm gonna go and put that one up a little bit higher too because there is just a tiny little snag right there too so we'll just stabilize those little snags out like so gives a little bit more character to it, right? Instead of putting it all down in corners. Oh, 
And I didn't even look to see what time it was when I started the video, just to see how we were getting on for time later. Um, okay, so then this one is gonna go here. And I may end up having to put or make another quick pocket or two. I'm gonna see how these fill up with ephemera first. Um, because there's a few more page gaps than I generally like to have in a book. Not that it doesn't happen sometimes, but. And then um, I was off on my cutting a little bit, so this one doesn't have a bottom flap, but that's okay. Um, don't throw your stuff away if that happens. You would just glue it on like a regular pocket and it'll act just the same. I think this little muffin is gonna end up being a pretty big girl. All right, let's go back to this first pocket because I already pretty much have the ephemera lined out for which pockets I want them in, like, visually. Oh, you know what we could do? Instead of creating more pockets, I have an idea. <clears throat> All right, let's first, let's put something in this pocket. Um, those are going in a different one. So maybe we just put some of the inked ephemera in here. Um, let's maybe put this one in there. Okay, and then we'll flip to the back one here. Put this one in. Maybe a little bird, or maybe we'll put in the long tags here. Okay, let's go to the next set of pockets. Put in the picture on this one. Flip to the next one. Put this pretty little bird jar in this one. Okay. Okay, we'll come back to that. <clears throat> and then the envelopes that I made go in this one. I think this is the funnest part of making a journal, isn't it? For me, anyways, I love watching it kind of come to life when you start filling pockets. one in here. All right, so then the next set of pockets are these, and we have these journal cards that I did here. And then I was thinking, I think these are too little to kind of, oh, well, maybe not. They tuck in there pretty nice, huh? So tuck that in there. And then flip to the other one here, the other card here. And we will put that one there. Okay, now I think all the pockets have something in them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put more in these pockets because they're kind of looser. So maybe, Actually, let's go back to what I was thinking here a minute ago because we've got a few like naked pages here. So I was thinking we would just clip this one in there along with the other one. Oops.
All right, so then we still have quite a bit of a uh, little ephemera. So what if we put Let's put some of these little pieces of ephemera in this one and then maybe one of these tags. And then we'll go back to this one. There's that one and this one. And put that one in here. Okay. Those are okay. I only want that and that one. So maybe we'll try to stick that little deer up there. Okay. Maybe one of the postcards behind there. Does that fit in there? It does. It does. Okay. Then um, just a few more pieces. So let's go find the other one over here. Let's put this one in there. one in there like that have that one poking up all right I've got this one which I adore this one so I don't know I might let's see what the center looks like it's a pretty big scene and I left it with um the kit paper in there where's my middle there it is I'll just take this and maybe we'll just make a paper clip. I don't know that I have any already decorated that would match something like that. Probably not. Most of my stuff is all flowers and whatnot. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have any pre-decorated ones that would look really cute there. So we'll just... I don't know if there's one that I would want to do, because if I do too big of a one, then it's going to end up covering up this deer, which I don't want to do. Oh, that's on the other side. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, so we're, we are actually getting close. We are almost there. Maybe we'll just stick him in here since we loaded the other one up. I'll add another little tag there. We'll fill those up. Oh, I thought I put a different one back there. I didn't. It's okay. Sorry, I'm kind of mumbly, just talking to myself. Yeah, I think we'll just stick one in here. I'll go to the back and stick the other one in there. Oh my goodness, this journal is like seriously getting full, huh? And one more little piece of ephemera here. And let's just stick it up underneath here, like so. And then if we do it on that side, then we should probably do it on this other side, huh? What can we stick up in there? What do I have left? Oh, I have this one that's kind of like a plain one. So let's ink it up. And without printing more, we have one, but having a blank card is not a bad thing, right? Holy cow, what a cool journal, huh? like so. All right. Woohoo. Look what we just did, guys. 
we have a completed journal. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this kit? Oh, <laughs> apparently I can't. Uh... Oh, because that doesn't belong there. Oh my goodness. See, here I am just pulling it apart. Oh, and it's not even a fat monster. How about that? Awesome. Okay, I will be right back. I'm going to kind of clean up the desk a little bit and put out my little thing. And we will do a flip through of this one. And then it'll probably be listed the morning that it gets listed. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we are ready to do the flip through of this pretty little thing. And again, this is Lorna Taylor's Winner's Magic, I believe is the name of the kit. Um, it is a six by nine soft, well, it's an envelope cover. So it's not exactly um, soft sided. It's supported, but um, and built up. And it's got uh, my favorite closure on it. And then on the inside pockets, in, um, inside being front and back pockets is the vellum with the little snowflakes on them. And then we have some ephemera here, journaling card, backed. It's got um, double lace on it. I didn't show you guys that, I don't believe, in the videos. It's just double laced on there. And then it's got some of our... Um, oh. Why do I have such an issue remembering the name? Liquid Pearls. <laughs> and this is some kit ephemera that's just been cut and inked there. And then some of that gorgeous paper here that I showed you in the beginning. Again, it's all backed with um, Lorna Taylor's um, Cabbage uh, Eco Dye Kit, I think is what it is. Or Cabbage Dye Kit. Um, and that is also available in her shop. And then this little pocket here comes in the kit. And then in this pocket, we um, did the little scallop lace with the um, liquid pearls again. And we have some of the kit ephemera that's just been inked, cut and inked. And then another piece of ephemera from the kit here. And then the little library card that comes in the kit. And then two little tags that we made together in like a video or two ago. Okay. And then um, this is some of my cabbage dye. It's a little bit light on the cabbage. Um, it was my first attempt at it. And so I love that it's pale blue and not as like blue, pr bluish purple as they can get. So um, yeah, so I went ahead and kept it. Some um, of the kit papers here and here. So we're that cabbage dye. And then we have that little pocket and I was gonna show you how it would work. So the new owner would just basically pull this. This pops down, you can journal in it. And then you just put your stuff back in there. And I will do that after the flip through, like before, before it gets listed, I'll put that all back together again. Um, but for video's sake, I'll just leave it, leave them like that for now. Okay, and so then we have some more of that beautiful kit paper here. And then we have light tea stain here. More kit paper, kit paper. Um, some more ephemera from the kit. If you'll remember back, we made this here. And um, it's a tri-fold. Okay. So I'm just going to slide that down. So then it just opens up like so for journaling on the back. And if you wrote in like black ink, you would be able to um, probably journal on these other spots here too. And then just a blank journaling card for that one. Okay, or that kit paper. This is writ, di writ diet paper. And maybe this summer when I'm writ dyeing paper, I'll uh, take you along so you can kind of see what I do to get those like kind of mixed colors in there. Some more of that kit paper here. This little pocket we made together. And it's got one of the little envelopes from the kit here. And then some more of that kit ephemera in here to fill up that beautiful little pocket. OK, 
Okay. And then this is also writ dye paper here. Some kit paper here and here and here. Some more writ dye. And then this is one of the pockets that comes in the kit. And then we just have um, some decorated ephemera that comes in the kit here. Another one of those little journaling cards there. And then two of the tiny little tags that we made together. Oh, and I should say, this journal does have 20 pages. Okay, so then this is the middle of the signature, and I've left these long in case a new owner would like to put anything on them. They can do that, or they can just trim them off, whichever, whichever, whatever works. Okay, then we come to this pocket here that we made together. It has a little feather up in here. And then this one has one of the large cards here. And two little tags that slip down in that those pockets. And then these are just the back sides of those other pages we were just looking at. So flip through those. And then we come to this pocket here. We decorated together and it's just got one of the tags from the kit in there. Another little piece of ephemera that comes with the kit. And then the other little envelope that comes in the kit. Okay. Okay, this is another one of those. Um, it, I guess it's this one's technically folded like a Herman Linda tag there. And then just a piece of ephemera from the kit. And again, this is just one of those little ones that will flip down. And then I just slip that mason jar behind there for that one. This is just gorgeous. I love the watercolor look. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we come to this other pocket that we made together. This pocket, it actually comes in the kit, but then we just decorated it together is what I should say or how I should say it. Then this is one of the tags that comes in the kit. And then another little piece of ephemera that comes in the kit. The other library card. And then these two tags that we made together. Okay. And there's the last page, the cute little squirrel. And then we also have another pocket to this in the same as in the front. It just has vellum and some snowflakes, a card that comes in the kit, and then a card that we decorated. All right, guys. Um, thank you for going with me on this journey. I really enjoyed this kit, Lorna. It's beautiful. And I will just talk to you guys soon. Bye.